Friends honored a North Carolina nurse who was stabbed and killed last month. Police have since charged a patient with first degree murder for the incident that happened at the Freedom House Recovery Center. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live. And Mariah, you spoke with June Okundi's family tonight. I did, and family members tell me that there's just been a mix of emotions really with this vigil. Not only remember many happy memories of June's life, but also some questions and concerns that they still have as to what actually happened. Now, family did tell me that June Akundi had worked at the Freedom House Recovery Center for just three months as a psychiatric nurse practitioner, and they say everything changed when she was attacked while on duty. Family members say that today's prayer vigil was not just about remembering their loved one's life, but also to spread awareness of mental health and keeping health care workers safe. And for us, specifically today, we were there not only to honor her, we were there because the system actually really let June down. The Freedom House of Durham let June down. There is no reason why that particular patient with that extensive uh, criminal history and violence history towards women should have been out there and more specifically with June. Now, a family does tell me that they're still deciding on a date for the funeral memorial service, but they hope again by sharing her story, they can help others. Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. Such a sad story. Thank you, Mariah.